I'm joined by Harika after the last round of the Cyprus tournament. Harika, it's been a tough tournament, very long. You just drawed your game with um, Goryachkina, with black, and that means you will most probably end up in the first th three places, but we still don't know because of uh, the games which are still being played. How do you assess your tournament and what has it been like for you to be here in Cyprus these days? Uh, yeah, at least in top four, I guess, somewhere. Uh, but uh, in general, I think I'm content with my play because uh, before coming here, I had a bad tournament, the last GP, and uh, my confidence was broken. I was trying to first stabilize myself and like get back to normal. And for that, I think uh, this is fine, more or less fine. I'm in plus two, and I think I'll somewhere end up in top four or top three, anything uh, can happen. So I think in general, I'm fine with the play. I was not too ambitious, I would say, uh, because first I need to really like get back into shape. Uh, but of course, I wanted to win the tournament if possible, but I didn't push too hard in the games. Um, because, like you know, I I just had to get gain back that uh, momentum, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I was wondering, um, the some of the other players have told me here that uh, these Grand Prix events are so long, tough games, also preparation in the morning that at the end they're feeling quite tired. How are your energy levels uh, now when the tournament's just finished? Of course, it's very very tiring. You have to work a lot, especially before the game and like you know a lot of uh, hours of uh, tire tiredness and all this but still i think when the tournament is going good you still cope up with it much far better mm -hmm. but when things go wrong then it's like really miserable to even work play with tougher position and also suffer mm -hmm. so definitely if it's tiring but uh, it's always to be better to be in the positive side this is the last tournament of the series there's been four um astana which I don't think you played, then Munich, where we first met, then you played in Delhi. Delhi was a topsy-turvy -turvy tournament for many reasons, but you were mentioning to me before that, of course, for the tie breaks and for everything, it has impacted some of the players, most of the players, the situation, what happened there, <clears throat> the two players uh, withdrew and there were no replacements and all the pairings changed. Could you develop a bit more and tell me your side of the story? Uh, actually, the one of the main uh, point I wanted to prove here is uh, the reason I failed in Delhi is mainly because of the disturbance that happened. And I think uh, by doing well here, I proved my point to some extent. Because Munich, I was fourth, and here I'll be somewhere in top four. So definitely, I mean, at least I can say that I would have maybe done better if not this uh, psychological setback would have happened in Delhi. And uh, of course, uh, it's partly my decision because uh, I never, um, I always thought with heart and like I thought that tournament, uh, I took this decision to play more blacks uh, because it's my home country and uh, I just wanted to have a peaceful tournament. But then uh, once the tournament started and I suffered, that's when I realized uh, what a fool I was because I didn't realize. You think with heart, but actually like it's not reality. You have to like fight for your right, that which is uh, not to accept like six blacks and three whites. And uh, definitely it's been a hard lesson. Like whatever happened, I don't want to crib about it, but at least I said like I took a very, very strong lesson from it. And uh, for me, I've never seen like candidates or anything to be desperate about, to win somehow, to go there. For me, it was always like once I'm there, it will come automatically to me. Once I'm at the top, there shouldn't be like, you know, trying hard for it. It should come automatically to you. That is the reason for me, I was always concentrating to be a better player, to be top in the world. So I never took these points so seriously. And I think that's where the decision in Delhi happened, that for me it was like just, uh, you know, I didn't think so much far, far ahead about candidates, about like the standings, um, but I think it was wrong. Uh, the whole, after the tournament, I was actually so broken, the, like I was minus three after a long time, and um, I was so broken, I didn't even see the standings. I didn't um, check my rating, and I was, 
I I wanted I realized that I'm leaving my baby behind to my grandmother and mother. I have to be more responsible in my decisions. I have to make it worth when I'm coming out and not just be um, too. I mean, I don't know, too naive or uh, I should fight for my rights. And that is the lesson I learned from Delhi. And I'm glad I'm ending on a good note uh, in the Grand Prix cycle. And uh, um, yeah, I think I've proven my point. You've definitely proven your point. And as I said to you before, at least for me, you prove your point totally when you were in Chennai playing nine months pregnant, which was very, very difficult, playing tough games. So Harika, what's, uh, what do we have in the future? Uh, which tournaments are you planning to, to play? Uh, maybe the World Cup in Baku? Uh, yeah, definitely I'm playing all the top tournaments that are lined up. And uh, especially during the pregnancy, as you asked, it was, I think for me, maybe outside it was looking uh, really big, but for me it was looking very natural to me. That, that's what I've done whole life and I played chess there. Uh, but I think hard part is after delivery to leave the baby behind and come. Uh, especially in this tournament, because of all that happened in Delhi, I decided to cut myself off from the world and just uh, concentrate on the tournament. I didn't even speak with my family from past, uh, I don't know, 15 days or something uh, since I came here. And sometimes I really missed her. I even felt like tears in my eyes and I let like, no, I'm here for a mission and I have to do it. So definitely I think um, it's much harder for uh, mothers to leave the babies, um, I think, than in, to play in the pregnancy. Would you, would you do this again, uh, taking into account that the tournament has gone rather well for you? Do, do you think it, it's better or do you think it's uh, worse to cut off the contact, having finished the tournament already? What sensations do you have? I think it depends on the seriousness of the tournament. Um, especially for me here, it's very important to prove myself and that's where I've uh, taken it more seriously. Uh, but it depends if it's like really serious tournament where I have to be really focused, then maybe I would do it. Uh, but I think it just depends on the seriousness of tournament. There is nothing wrong in, you know, it's, this is how it work, works for me. So I decided to do it this way. Thank you, Harika. <laughs>